the game and certainly come out sweetly and through the first furlong it is Magic Leam going on, racing home on the inside. Hassan in the red cap in behind him and Pat Hedery looks over his left shoulder, sees it's all clear to tack over to the far rail and it's Magic Leam leading. Magic Leam by length to Hassan in second place. Next to the rails is Guest Artis and Sconce just one wide of her, racing home in the field tracked in by Bocchus Rose who trails the tails to the first quarter mile and it's Magic Gleam leading. Magic Gleam from Guest Artis next to the rails and Sconce on the outside of her. Uh, then Hassan and wider still is racing home and Bocchus Rose in behind that. So they come down towards the halfway stage, head down towards the four and it's Magic Gleam leading. Magic Gleam with Hassan in the red cap on the outside of Ensconce covered up and behind these Guest Artis could come with a run next to the rails and they come down towards the three. Uh, Magic Gleam, Guest Artis being ridden along by Paul Edery next to the rails. Hassan getting a reminder and Ensconce will be the challenger to Magic Gleam. They're four clear of Bocchus Rose, a gap of five to racing home. But Magic Gleam has it as they race past the two. Ensconce now puts in a challenge. Guest Artis uh, could be held for a place yet again as Magic Gleam from the front stretches well inside the final quarter mile uphill to the final third off marker and it's Magic Gleam who's asserted her authority on these good fillers and quickens four to five clear and very good workman's like style pricking her ears winning it very easily indeed hardly though she's had a race and at the line Magic Gleam is the winner in Sconce's second guest artiste placed yet again with fourth place going to Bocchus Rose fifth was our son sixth and last was racing home and that would only beat daylight and so the result of this group two child stakes it's a win for number five magic gleam owned by maktoum al maktoum trained at new market by alex scott who's having a terrific season and this one bred by glencrest farms in the united states of america pat Hedder's 81st winner of the season chased home by number one in sconce written by ray cochran a leafard filly who was uh, just conceding weight to this danzig filly winner Magic Gleam, third horse being number four, Guest Artis placed yet again. With three furlongs to go, John Frankham told me that the winner was in front, and in the closing stages, it proved a very easy success for Magic Gleam. And John, in many ways, she's a jockey's delight because she she can go and make the running, but she relaxes in front. Yeah, she's a lovely, uh, easy action filly. This. And what I like about her, just you get brief glimpses of her. She just pricks her ears every now and again. You know that she hasn't been doing very much in front. She's just been lobbing along. And really, Pat's only ever just had to half pick her up, really. I don't think that we've seen anything like her full potential here this afternoon. And he puts the race beyond any doubt at this stage. And you'll see as soon as he actually sits still, she pricks her ears again with about five yards to run just before she passes the post. And really, she hasn't had any sort of a hard race at all. I must say that when she's won like that, bottle, as McCrick was calling, two to one, looks, you wish you'd stepped down and knocked it off the boards. But she, 